Hello and welcome to another episode of Talking Politics here at the Hindu with me Nistula Hepar where we unpack the news making the headlines in domestic politics. This week belonged to uh the number of defections that happened uh from the BJP towards the Samajwadi party at last count at least till I was counting it was about 10 MLAs including three ministers Swami Prasad Maurya uh Dara Singh Chauhan and Dharminder Saini and uh, uh all of them nearly all of them have joined uh, the Samajwadi party hopeful of getting tickets to uh fight in these assembly polls uh, uh the first phase for which would be on February 10th Well uh we had looked at uh, uh Akhilesh Yadav's creeping acquisition of small caste based parties in eastern Uttar Pradesh and these defections are also being seen in line with the strategy of trying to amalgamate a larger OBC vote bank a larger uh mandal immediate post mandal OBC vote bank uh, that used to be with the Samajwadi party till the BJP chipped away at it and just left the yadav and the muslim combination with the Samajwadi party having walked away with the votes of non yadav OBCs uh akhilesh yadav's strategy in these elections is being seen very clearly at targeting these non yadav OBC groups uh through a uh alliances with smaller parties uh which represent certain uh, caste interests and uh leaders such as Swami Prasad Maurya who commands uh the support of some elements of the Maurya community Dara Singh Chauhan who is a Lodhia Chauhan uh community leader and uh the other uh, MLAs as, as well who fall into uh these categories as well um uh, how is this going to affect affect the uh, campaign going forward um how is it going to affect the prospects of the various parties in play especially the bjp is a subject for this week's talking politics In an episode last month uh, for of talking politics uh, we had discussed about Akhilesh Yadav's uh, larger strategy of trying to uh, bring back uh, non yadav opcs into the samajwadi party uh, fold again after they had migrated to the bjp in large numbers in the elections general elections of 2014 the assembly elections of 2017 and the general elections again in 2019 in uttar pradesh uh, this is uh, uh basically the uh, the party has come to the conclusion that winning back the support base that used to be with them is crucial which will give them cru- critical mass in terms of gaining a majority seat a number of seats in the uttar pradesh assembly so for that uh, uh, akhilesh yadav had first tied up with parties like the suhail dev uh, party uh, which commands support among the rajpur community the mahan dal and the apna dal uh, uh, camera wale uh, which is uh, and not the apna dal which is with the nda that is uh, led by the union minister um, anupriya patel but her mother and uh, uh, so these small small parties uh, were uh, uh, hope uh, akhilesh yadav was hoping will give a, a, an aggregated effect of winning back some elements of the non yadav obc vote uh, what happened uh, last week was uh, a large scale poaching operation uh, uh basically uh, a run on uh, bjp mlas uh, especially from eastern up and especially belonging to non yadav obc communities um uh, uh, and their kind of migration to the samajwadi party now uh, the bjp has been saying that many of these mlas uh, and uh, even the ministers the three ministers who uh, have gone over to the sp uh, basically had already got an indication that they would not be uh, repeated uh, they will not be candidates again from the bjp they will not get the party ticket because surveys th- at least three surveys had shown that many of these uh, mlas had huge local anti incumbency against them and that the party should uh, feel somebody new in order to cut that baggage of anti incumbency be that as it may but the bjp itself had done a huge poaching operation in 2017 by itself too and had gained uh, many seats uh, through these turncoats as well as a rule and i always say that as a rule uh, nothing ever works 
till it works so no strategy is successful till it is successful especially in electoral politics in india so it's not a rule that if you if you poach important leaders from uh, other parties that they will necessarily bring success to you in jharkhand and in west bengal uh, this strategy did not work for the bjp in jharkhand bjp did break away many important congress leaders but uh, that did not help them in the assembly elections there and recently in west bengal as well there was a wholesale sort of uh, migration from trinamool ranks towards and congress uh, uh, ranks towards the bjp and although the bjp did post a great uh, performance uh, in terms of uh, and becoming the principal opposition party there uh, the the success did not match uh, the the anticipation uh, that had been built up by the bjp and uh, the implosion that is happening in the bjp state unit in west bengal currently shows that these strategies could be very short sighted anyhow but we should look at some interesting numbers that have uh, uh, come my way uh, these are from the trivedi uh, center for political data uh, they've been cited in a uh, in a story done by jules vernier academic uh, jules vernier for the website mojo story and uh, it has some very interesting data and it says that uh, in 2017 uh, all uh, parties did uh, field uh, turn courts around 153 out of 403 constituencies saw the uh, candidates who been turn courts uh, fielded by all parties uh, bjp of course uh, fielded the largest number of turn courts which is 65 uh, the bsp had 29 turn courts in their ranks and the sp had fielded 26 out of these 60 turn courts uh, had won at the election uh, and uh, uh, the largest number 52 uh belong to the bjp so turn courts uh, the bjp did get some success from turn courts in this particular in 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 uttar pradesh not so much in west bengal and not so much in jharkhand so uh, uh overall if you see anecdotally and data wise it shows that uh, it's not a one uh stop shop uh, strategy for success but Uh, uh the kind of people who have been poached by uh, the samajwadi party shows the larger strategic uh, game of the uh, samajwadi party going into these elections uh why i'm saying this is because at the end of the week the bjp also released its first list of candidates for the first and second phase of the assembly election and uh, very significantly announced that chief minister yogi adityanath would be fighting not from ayodhya or mathura as had as had been speculated but from his home turf of gorakhpur urban uh now what does this mean the list if you have a look at it um Uh, has about over 60% candidates from backward communities out of which 44 are obcs uh and uh, about 19 uh belong to the scheduled caste uh, community there are 10 women uh, candidates among them uh it's a total of 107 seats and if you remove the two seats of gorakhpur uh, urban and siratu where keshav prasad maurya is going to be fighting so 105 seats from western up where you will find 44 obc seats obc candidates and 19 scheduled caste candidates have been fielded by the bharatiya janata party of 83 sitting mlas in this area uh, 63 have been repeated 20 have been dropped so there was no large scale culling also that happened of uh, sitting mlas as had been feared by these mlas in the past so maybe the poaching operation had an effect of slowing down uh, uh, the dumping of candidates sitting mlas as candidates uh, uh, certainly uh, the caste makeup of the bjp's list reflects that uh, the bjp does not want to make the mistake that it made in 2015 in the bihar election where uh, the alliance the mahagat bandhan of uh, this, uh, uh, rjd and jdu had kept the focus very much on caste uh, equations and made it a backward versus forward fight uh, the samajwadi party also by winning back certain uh, mlas and leaders from the bjp's fold obc uh, non yadav obc leaders who very strangely have had uh, like a carbon copied resignation letter wording 
very similar wordings in their uh, resignation letters, which says that the BJP has no space for the backwards, the oppressed uh, and marginalized communities, and therefore uh, these leaders are going back to uh, the Samajwadi Party or the socialist fold. Uh, uh, this shows a very much a 2015 playbook uh, of the Mahagad Bandhan RJD and uh, JDU, and uh, the BJP had had uh, 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 no option really, and uh, basically played a very hard Hindu to a card in order to uh, to counteract the backward versus forward narrative that had had uh, much success for uh, the Mahaged Bandhan campaign. Here, uh, the BJP wants to put a stop to uh, any of that kind of a campaign gaining ground, saying that no, this is not a backward versus forward fight. Uh, all this uh, talk about uh, um, upper caste, especially Thakur's being rewarded uh, at the cost of other communities is not correct and it reflects on the in the party's um, uh, list of candidates which has given a lot of space to members of these communities. Uh, also, Yogi Adityanath's uh, uh, candidature from Gorakhpur North, which is his turf, uh, also shows that the party has more or less told him that um, Hindutva iconography uh, could be invoked through other means, but one needs to uh, uh, protect one's turf because Eastern UP uh, is also turning out to be somewhat of a pain point for the BJP in these assembly elections. Still now, farmers' uh, movement and uh, the resentment among the Jat community or the agricultural communities in Western UP was being seen as one major pain point for the BJP uh, in these elections. But these, uh, this poaching operation and these uh, this kind of exodus of uh, non of OBC uh, MLAs from the BJP to uh, the Savatwati party has also highlighted how Eastern UP also needed to be uh, support in Eastern UP needed to be shored up and hence Yogi Adityanath has also been asked to uh, stay put um, uh, on his ground. Uh, so these are the effects of this particular uh, sort of uh, exodus that we saw of MLAs. Um, I, because we can't say for certain whether these MLAs will get re-elected on a Samajwadi party ticket or not, or whether in the long run it will work out uh, for the Samajwadi party. But as of now, certainly from BJP setting the agenda in, in the elections in Uttar Pradesh since 2014, it looks like perhaps for the first time that they are reacting to another party's uh, agenda for these elections in its campaign. Uh, this is all I have for you this week on Talking Politics. Uh, stay safe. Uh, Omicron is still out and about and I'll see you next week.